In this video, we'll discuss how a transformer works. Now, a transformer is a device that essentially tries to step up or step down a voltage. In other words, I give it a certain voltage VP. I can bring it up several notches to VS or I can bring it down several notches to VS. So how it works very really importantly is that, first of all, I must supply it with an alternating source over here. And so here we have a number of coils and uh, this works almost like a solenoid. And so what you're going to do, you're going to create a magnetic field inside this coil over here. And because of the nature of the AC, this magnetic field is going to be varying as well. It's going to be going up and down in different directions. The important thing is that it's a changing magnetic field. And so the transformer is typically made up of uh, something like iron, where it is essentially a good ferrous material. And so this magnetic field inside here gets transported to the other side like so, because the flux, the magnetic flux that is created in this iron core is transferred effectively by something ferrous like iron. And so what you're going to do, you're going to get a changing magnetic flux linkage in the secondary coil over here. And then we, as we have seen from Faraday's law, that will induce an EMF on this side. And that is essentially your secondary voltage. And so one thing to take note of is that the flux that is contained in this iron core is uniform. That is a rule. And so if I have more coils over here than I do here, this is NS, this is NP, right? the number of coils in the secondary and primary coil respectively, if you have more coils over here, the flux linkage will be larger at the secondary side and you can multiply the voltage from the primary side to the secondary side. And we will talk a little bit more about this when we look at transformers in the next video. 